Legacy Recordings Week in Music, November 18th through November 24th. November 18th, 1978. Billy Joe gets his first number one on the U.S. album chart with his sixth studio album, 52nd Street. Later, 52nd Street became the first commercial album to be released on compact disc. November 19, 1905. Born on this day, big band leader Tommy Dorsey. November 20th, 1961, Bob Dylan begins recording his debut album over two days at Columbia Recording Studios in New York City. Is it recording now? Oh, it is. November 21st, 1995, The Ghost of Tom Joad, Bruce Springsteen's 13th album was released. November 22nd, 1986, Stevie Ray Vaughan and Double Trouble began the 49-date North American and European tour Live Alive at the Towson Center in Towson, Maryland. November 23rd, 1956, while at the Commodore Perry Hotel in Toledo, Elvis was accosted by a young man who shouted, My wife carries your picture, but doesn't carry mine. Elvis was pummeling the man, Louis John Ballant, when police broke up the free-for-all, and Ballant later pleaded guilty to creating a disturbance. November 24th, 1978. Barbara Streisand and Donna Summer's No More Tears, Enough is Enough goes to number one on the U.S. singles chart. 